it is quite difficult to make rolling objects in After Effects. For example, consider a triangle or a square that you need to round. You have to use a lot of keyframes. This takes a lot of your time. The result may not be very satisfactory either. We will use a pre-made rig so we can do this properly. We will use ready-made format. For this, we need to download a file from the internet. Let's start. I will leave a link below so you can download the rig. You can directly access this page of Dribbble by clicking that link. When you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you will see a download area. This is the rig itself. I click this download button and I download this AEP file to my computer. Let's download and open this now. When you open this file that we downloaded to our computer, you will see such a screen for what we call rig. We can say prepared files. When I move the timeline forward here, you will see that the triangle here is already moving. Now, let's see how we can edit these settings. Let's check the layers in the scene first. There is a layer called a ground. It refers to the ground. This will work though it doesn't, but it looks more realistic since it is ground. That's what we call a rig. When we select this rig layer, such options will open in the effect controls panel. If this panel is not visible to you, you can make this panel appear by selecting the effect control option under the window. Now let's see what we can do on this panel. Our first option is rotation. When we hover over the rig and press the letter U from the keyboard, we can see the active keyframes in the scene. On these keyframes, as you can see, we only have a keyframe called rotation. This keyframe is actually the keyframe here. As you can see, the icon on the left is active. So we can see that it's a keyframe. There should also be a keyframe on the right. Let's even enlarge the scene from there. When we move the keyframe like this and slow down the area over there, I want it to slide to the left like this and end there. It sets it to end here when I play it. You can also set the loop for it. Let's do this. Let's remove all the keyframes here. Let's set this to zero. In fact, we need to make it 180, not zero, because it is a triangle. Let's give a keyframe here. Let's go a little further. Let's set to 0 to 1 over there. So we want it to take a full lap. I click start and play. It adjusts itself to rotate 360 degrees. This is the rotation part, a way to rotate objects. As I said, we can extend this a little longer and we can give it different values. You can give as many multipliers as you want it to run. In the polygons part, you see a triangle as a polygon right now. It means that it has three sides. You can increase this value. For example, you can make a rectangle. Quadrilateral here means square. You can make a pentagon. When you click hexagon, heptagon, you can get polygons with as many sides as you want. Let's give 10 as an example. Let's get a 10 sided view. It's not about straight rotation and changing position. It's more like touching the floor as we can see very clearly in the triangle. So that's not really what I call ground, since it's related to the ground. We can get also this effect by removing ground, because it looks like it's touching that line right there anyway. That's the beauty of this rig. Let's open ground again. Another setting is size. We can adjust the size. As you can see, we can create a larger object, create a polygon, or create a smaller polygon if you wish. Where can we use this now? Of course, this depends on your project. I just wanted to introduce the rig here. But things like this can be done. For example, let's say I rotate the ground here 25 degrees. I can also use it by converting, but using it by converting will not benefit me right now. I pre-compose with Ctrl Shift C. In other words, I create a new sequence like the smart object in Photoshop. So this is a sequence. If I provide a 25 degree angle above that, we can make it look like it's coming over the ground here. We have the ability to arrange this as well. If you want to bring it from further back, if you bring the rotation value to the left, you can get an image as if you have started before. For example, you can give the effect of starting from the beginning of the scene and exciting from the end. If you want to make more of these, we just need to multiply the rig here. I'm duplicating this with Ctrl D duplicates D and let's change its size, the number of sides. Let's do 4 for example. When I play it this way, we reproduce it as you can see. If you want to change the color of the objects you create here, you select that object, 
either from here or from the layers here and change the fill color above. When you click on the color here, you can select any color to change this shape and change the color of this polygon. Yes, in this tutorial, I showed this rig and how it can be used and the settings we can make on it. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.